Sam here, Giant Pumpkins New Zealand. How's it going? Thought I'd put together a little video of what I'm doing next. So I've decided to uh, cover up the pumpkin that I like the look of the best. And over the years I've tried different methods. So this is the fourth year of doing something different. The first year was a garden umbrella and I'll link to all these uh, posts and pictures from previous attempts. Uh, the second attempt was a little cover made with some garden stakes and a little bit of a tarp. Third attempt last year was just a plain white sheet draped over the pumpkin and uh, this year is probably the most technical and most expensive if you can't get the stuff cheap or free. So let's check it out. This is the pumpkin that I like the, the look of the most. It's got a good stem and it's a nice decent way out from the pumpkin, uh, from the vine. So it's looking pretty good and um, I've just put a bit of sand underneath it. Now the, the idea behind that is to allow it to move easily as it now, grows. If you looked at the top above the video you would have seen the photo of what I've been using to build this new frame. I've got a whole bunch of uh, leftover pipe that work doesn't want. I've got a couple of lengths of steel rebar I was lucky to get off my dad and we chopped it to length and uh, I've got a bit of a sledgehammer. So the idea is to drive four of these stakes in on the angle, two on each side, put the pipe over, loop it over the pumpkin and then build a bit of a frame and add, um, just, just go with a cheap tarp to be honest and that should offer some protection from the sun. Here we go, got the first two in the ground, nice curve, hopefully that'll cover the pumpkin okay, just going to drive the second two in, so off we go. And there we go, we've got both sides up, just going to put some ones uh, running across and then run a tarp over. Now the, uh, the pumpkin's there and I could have really moved it a little bit that way, but this is a reasonably easy structure to remove. Um, just pull the rods out and redo your pipe. And as you can see, it's really stable. Look at that, hardly going to move. Um, definitely going to keep any rain off if we don't want it on there. Should have quite easy access. Going to roll it up and uh, yeah, I'll show you that when it's all finished. So here we go, we've got a bit of a frame made. Um, the pipes are bent over from just before. I've put the uh, cross members through. I've just used cable ties to hold it all together. Um, here's a little tip, make sure you get big enough cable ties. I had to uh, double up on some just to make it work. And now I'm just going to try and put the tarp straight over it. Um, I already had a tarp so I don't even know if it's the right size. Uh, we'll see how we go in a sec. There we go, we've got the tarp on. All fastened with cable ties. This front bit's liftable so I can get to the pumpkin if I need to check on it. And this is a great prototype. Wow, first first time building this. And next year I'll uh, definitely be building one bigger, bigger scale. It seems really sturdy and I'm looking forward to seeing how it copes uh, in this hot sun and help provide some uh, shade for the pumpkins. So there we go. Another type of shelter to build for your pumpkins.